Hey guys, my name is Donita and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if this is your very, very first time here, please let me know in the comments below how you found my channel. On this channel, I do clothing hauls, black love, travel vlogs, and of course my main wig reviews. So if you like what you see by the end of this video, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get reminders every time I post a video. And if you come across my channel a few times before and you haven't subscribed, it's free to support, so make sure you guys do that. And I'm gonna get into some things with this hair and we gonna be right back. Today I am reviewing another Butter Lace unit. It is the Butter Lace Straight 32 unit in the color 1B. So this unit is 32 inches long. Yes. <laughs> it is from their Wet Lace collection. It's a virtually HD lace undetectable. It has a middle part. It has two combs on the side. One comb in the back, adjustable straps back there as well. It's human hair and premium fibers blend, um, full body movement, virtually undetectable lace, blends with most skin tones, ear to ear lace with a wide five inch deep hands high parting area, pre-plucked with baby hairs along the hairline, natural and full maximum density. It does come in a bunch of specialty colors and this is what the stock card is looking like. So yes, um, so I will say that this unit is a little snug on my head. I don't know. I would say it's more on the medium spectrum. It, it, it was a little tight. I had to stretch the cap from front to back a little bit and I used the comb so it wouldn't slide around on my head. I do have the adjustable straps back there as well in place, but for some weird reason, I struggle with Sensationals units. I don't know what it is. Like I have a really hard time blending it in and it bothers me so much. If you've been to my channel, you know that I do a lot of Outre units and I have the easiest time like blending in their units. I don't know what it is. But for some reason with Sensational, I struggle with their units. So I did go in with my lace tint, my even lace tint and it's in the color medium brown. I sprayed it, I put the lace on, and I can still, like I still saw the lace when I put it on. When I do my Outre units, I spray my lace tint and it's literally, that's it. But a lot of the time when I do sensational units, I am struggling to make it look like my hair. I hate when units, I hate when units look so wiggy. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been reviewing them too much on my channel, but I did go in and lay it down to blend in more because typically when you can see the lace, you have a better chance of gluing it down so it blends in more. So I did do that. I went in, I blow dried it, 
and y'all it was a struggle for me <laughs> like it is what it is i laid down a little bit of baby hairs i went in along the hairline with my juvia's place chocolates palette and i darkened up the roots and yeah i mean it looks pretty okay now but it was a struggle for me i'm not gonna lie okay but overall, I do like the length of this unit. It is tangling just a little bit, so keep that in mind. Longer units do tend to tangle, no matter if it's straight or curly. They do tend to tangle. Um, because the hair was like folded in the packaging, it is a little bent. So I would recommend going through with a flat iron, just pressing it out a little bit more so it can, you know, be bone, bone straight. Also, this unit does range on a few different websites from about $46 to $55-ish, so keep that in mind. This unit is very pricey. Y'all know how I feel about paying this price for some synthetic hair, for some synthetic hair, but it is really, really long, so I will give them that. Yes, I'm ready for spraying, y'all. <laughs> I also haven't experienced much shedding with this unit, so that's a plus. A little bit of tangles, but not much shedding. So yeah, I would say this unit is definitely a go. Um, it does have like a nice amount of thickness, and this is what the texture is looking like. I would for sure say it's like a yaki straight texture, which is nice. It's not on the silky it's not too much on the silky side which is great and and overall my final thoughts is that this unit is so cute it's definitely spring ready um just keep in mind there might be a little bit of heat on your neck during the summer but it's definitely spring wearable i will say that and i do like it but for some reason i just struggle with sensational units so i hope i slayed this unit for you guys please let me know in the comments below thanks for watching this was a short easy quick and fun video don't forget to give me a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get reminders every time i post a video and i will see you guys next time namaste